thank you, thank you. Thank you. And his band, Max, get on up here. Yeah, Holy that cow, that was good really thing you have a great way to start the finance. Friday. Yeah, I do. I do. It's pretty useless at this point, let me tell you. <laughs> Wait, so so you studied uh, finance. I did. And then you worked in oil and gas for four years. No, not four years, but four years ago you left oil and gas. No, 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 I was in there four years. I only left like four months ago, to be honest with you, yeah. To become so, a musician. To become a musician. I had became a musician. You don't really become a musician, you are a musician, you know, so. Really now, become one. Okay, you so one. you've recently released um, a new CD with all original yes. songs, and your band's been together for nine months. So tell us a little bit about the process of releasing the CD and a little bit about what the feel is like. Yeah, so uh, a couple years ago, while I was still working at that company, I started playing out. I decided I wanted to play out a little bit outside of my parents' living room and for friends and stuff, you know? So um, I went to a, an open mic thing. It was like a Western Swing jam session. Met a bunch of guys, I, you know, some of the best musicians in town, and I convinced them to cut a demo with me, and then I just started hustling everywhere I could. And then it snowballed, and I started playing more and more. And I knew I wanted to record my original music, so we did that back in April and you we'll do sound, more we'll do more it sounds like you've been playing together for years because the sound is so cohesive and great I also think it's cool that you decided to just go for it you have an upcoming show if people want to see you live here in Houston you're playing at Market Bar Market Bar is tonight October 14th at Pinkerton's and then House of Blues November 3rd and you know you mentioned about the band being a cohesive unit we're all in our 20s, as you can see, so we got a <laughs> lot of energy, man, you know? So. We're also in our 20s now. Yes. Max. Well, awesome. So we're going to have you play a little bit more. So if you want to get set up there, um, but you guys, if you want to keep up with Max, you can check him out at maxflynnmusic.com, and that's we'll Max it. Flynn with an I, Flynn with an I, not a Y. Yeah, and don't worry, because that was so much fun. These guys are going to be playing throughout the entire show. And uh, coming up next, by the way, you may remember last year, right here on Houston Life, when we unveiled the 2017 Houston firefighter calendar. Oh, there I remember. We have Aaron I remember that model. one. You remember yep. it? I sure well, do. Well, if you don't remember, there's a little something on your screen that might jog your memory. Okay, you guys, so after the break, we'll have a very heated discussion with this year's cover model, and we'll give you a sneak peek inside the hot, hot, hot 2018 calendar for a cause. We certainly will, but before we get to that, a very appropriate song right now. Here is Max Flynn once again with George Strait's The Firemen. Take, Take it away, guys. guys. Turn that thing off first. 